Hi, I'm Catherine Hess. I'm executive director of Art Division, which is a nonprofit organization. We're sitting now in the library of Art Division. It's located just west of MacArthur Park, and it's an organization that offers free training in the visual arts to young adults aged 18 and older. And it all started with Dan. I started Art Division with, along with Javier Carrillo, Maria Galicia, and Emmanuel Galvez in around 2010. And we wanted to create an art library, an art uh, school in this neighborhood because there wasn't anything like it. And uh, we just keep growing and expanding. And we now have the library, a paint studio, a gallery, and a media center, and a print studio. And all, most of the teachers have taught in other uh, schools. We're not a school, per se. We're more of a community of art makers. But it's working. A lot of our students end up going to college, graduating college, um, and staying on a path. And I think our mission is to keep our students on a path, like so that they're not floundering, and that they have direction, and also have a community. And as you can see, we've developed a strong community of not just students, but artists and LA artists. A lot of artists from LA are involved with us as well, including Solomon Huerta, John Nava, Karen Carson, who teach workshops here as well. The difference between a lot of colleges, there's no grades, there's no graduation. It's just about making art and giving people the space to make art. He's just done this on the down low for so long and it's kind of like a slow burn. It's been building, 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 and now we have expanded to an, a new space. We have our eyes on another space. We need the, um, the square footage for our students to be able to produce the art. Yeah. It's hard. In this neighborhood, this, we are located in the most densely populated immigrant community in the country. Wow. The zip code that is the most densely populated. And also we have a career and college counselor yeah. who's part of our staff who helps people get on this path that, that, um, that Dan was talking about. This path is so important. When I first became involved with Art Division, I was like, okay, now i am found my spot. This is yeah. where I want to be spending my time. Next, we spoke with a student in an Art Division. Hi, my name is Essence, and you are currently at the Art Division Library. What are some of the things you've made at Art Division? I was a painter before I came here, so I, would I took a painting class. I took landscape painting, collaborative painting, and a painting and coloring class. So I have a variety of things on canvas paper and a variety of mirrors. Do you want to show us your work? Is that OK? Yeah. This is my personal sketchbook. I've been working on this for about a year and a half now, and I have a variety of different mediums in here like gouache, watercolor, collages with origami paper. I have different kinds of paper. I even have pop-ups. Then we spoke with a teacher who is a former student as well. I'm Roberto Ortiz. I grew up right here down the block, Koreatown. Tell us about your journey, though. You were saying you started here as a student, and then you even taught yourself. Yeah, so I started as a student. I met Dan about maybe when I was like 17. I used to go to Ola and um, I met Dan there and then um, I wasn't that great of a student. I eventually kind of dropped out of Ola and then um, once I was already out of high school, I didn't know where to, you know, kind of pursue art. Um, and then Dan somehow luckily uh, found the same group, like group of friends that were part of Ola and told us to, to start coming to Art Division. He has started Art Division. And, um, and yeah, I just kind of took the ride, you know, like see where it goes. And um, yeah, I learned a lot. And then from, from, from coming to Art Division, I actually got a, like a, a lot of hands-on like uh, jobs. Like I started teaching uh, at Para Los Niños. I started teaching first graders, um, printmaking, any, uh, painting. And, um, and then next thing you know, it, I started also teaching Art Division. I started teaching the intro printmaking class here last year. And this is one of your prints? This is one of my prints, and I think I made this in 2017. Okay. Um, and this is a reduction linoleum block. Okay. So um, I only made five. It's very uh, difficult to make a big run of it because um, at, the, at the end of the, the color, so you work from um, light to dark. Okay. And the, the last color, so in the block, once you're cutting it out, the last color will be the darkest. So at the end of, at the, end of the, 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 the process, 
the, the last thing that the block had was this, uh, this just this black section. Finally, we caught up with Victor, who introduced me to Art Division. So hi, my name is Victor Reyes. Used to be a student, now I'm part staff, part student, and I help out with the setup of the work. Yeah, so this is some of my work Amazing. that you have here. Amazing. And, and you were the one who told me to come out, right? Yeah, I saw your post and I said, oh, let, let me send him a text. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Um, how long have you been working with Art Division? I've been working with Art Division about six or seven years, but on and off. Okay, cool. So that's how I, and now I'm being a little bit more active with our division. Yeah. Due to the pandemic, I ended up doing more work. So, yeah, yeah I've been coming here a little bit more. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to talk about or shout out? Just come to our division if you're interested in art. It's a free art classes to students between 18 to 26. And if you need help with college and stuff, I believe they have uh, help to help you out in that and you're lost or something like that and you need like a place to come and hang out and do work this is it's the spot and free